Oh boy, guys. I had forgotten how slow things like this were. <clears throat> so I'm doing a factory reset of my desktop computer, and apparently when you do that, and my old desktop computer, apparently when you do that, it has to reinstall all these Windows updates and crap because it couldn't have those as part of the image. It doesn't make any sense. But there it is down there. There's like a fingerprint on my lens or something because the lights are looking a bit foggy. There we go, it's a little better. <clears throat> but I mean, man, come on, this is taking forever. I mean, it is working though. Ish. I'm having to use onboard, well, I'll say I'm having to use, I'm using the onboard graphics at the moment. Mainly because <clears throat> I didn't want to cause problems by having a, an expansion graphics card installed during the restore process. But, yeah, so it doesn't come with Service Pack 1 for some reason. And well, I guess it, I bought this computer in 2010, so I guess Service Pack 1 probably wasn't out yet, but... As you can see here, Gateway DX4300, it's actually a 17 variant. It's a Phenom 2 times 4, 8, 10 at 2.6 gigahertz. And stuff. Has this one terabyte hard drive. That is not in the best of condition. Oh my gosh, the slowness is real. It's this stupid Windows update. There we go. It's one terabyte Western Digital Green. And that optical drive is not original, as I've probably previously stated at some point or another. I don't remember. But <clears throat> it came with an HL drive that was super loud. And I had to swap out the drives for some reason but with from this one and another computer. So, yeah, so this is not the original optical drive. But the hard drive, this is the original hard drive. Uh, oh my gosh, come on, man. I can't even move that. <laughs> so you remember uh, Wild Tangent Games console? It would be different brand depending on what brand of computer you had. It could believe the computers that used it were Acer, E-Machines, and Gateway, obviously, because those are all Acer group computers. And there was Toshiba. They all, Some of theirs had it. <clears throat> I believe even some Sony laptops may have had it. Maybe even some Samsungs. I could be mistaken on the Samsungs part. I know no Dell laptops had it, but um, or Dell computers in general. They make desktop computers too, I guess. But um, and specifically, I saw it once on an HP Pavilion desktop computer. I have not seen it on any other HP computer, but yeah. So they all had very similar icons, as you can see this one, oh, well, or you can just shut down and stuff, that's cool. This one had uh, the gateway logo as part of the box, which was pretty clever really, but other ones would have other special things as part of them, you know. <clears throat> so, Wild Tangent Games, well, I think, there's like, there were a couple games on there I would actually play, I actually own the disc of one and I've never taken it out of the package. There was this game called Fate that was actually quite interesting. I might try to play that again. I don't know. I'll look into some of my old favorite things about this computer. And that it has its original hardware again. Especially once I get one of these two graphics cards installed. This one I'm having trouble getting to fit. And this one isn't quite as powerful. So we'll see what I can do there. But Oh yeah, and I never finished what I was saying about the onboard graphics. The onboard graphics is exceptionally crappy in this system. And only has VGA, so I'm having to use this old uh, Dell CRT computer monitor at the moment until I can get one of these other two cards that have DVI installed. And at that point, I'm going to switch it out with this Dell Studio monitor. Old flat panel 1680 by 1050 monitor. I could use that sync master over there, but that sync master, it makes a very annoying loud humming noise. It needs to be recapped, I guess, but oh well. The Dell works fine at the moment. Yeah, so one interesting thing, sort of a lost art. When Windows 7 came out, the OEMs could change the login screen wallpaper for their systems. You can see here, this is actually a gateway background, and I believe HP did that on some of their computers. 
Um, not my laptop was too new for that, but I know Dell did it with pretty much all of them. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's actually really nice looking. I really do like that. Um, probably can't enter that one hand without looking at the keyboard. Uh, got it. Okay. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A great hint there, Sydney. Got it now. I also can't help but notice just how quiet the speakers are. Like, that was a very, like, that was super quiet. Why is it so quiet? Turn the speakers way up. Oh, don't you don't do you guys remember Norton Internet Security? The stupid trials that would come with like all systems. Aver Media TV Tuner, PCI Express. I had that installed at one point. I know it came in the system, but I have no idea what happened to that card. Because I had to take it out to fit in my uh, GeForce 8800 GT when I got it. It was similar to these, to this card right here, except it was the Gigabyte variant, which meant it did not use the stock cooler and therefore did not have the stupid desoldering problem with the GPU, but... Um, oh, there are multiple TV tuners this thing could have had, so... Maybe it wasn't the Avermedia one that I had. I think it may have been an AMD TV tuner that I had. The TV Wonder. Maybe. I actually, I'm not, I'm not for sure there, but... Yuan TV tuner. You could also probably try to install a Realtek Wi-Fi card that this thing would have come with. But that card is in Michael's computer now, so I get to use this little Netgear dongle, which I believe I can probably just stick. There are these USB ports, like, housed in a little thing on top of the case. You can't, well, I don't know if you might be able to see it. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get my phone's light to come on here. There we go. There are USB ports in there, and I'm thinking about trying to get the Wi-Fi card to work on those because plugging it into the back, it's in close proximity to some metal, which makes it not work very well. But <clears throat> we will see. Gateway registration office to uh, office 2000. What the crap? Office 60-day trial. Nero Start Smart. Netflix. You remember when Netflix was a new thing? This is around this time. Adobe Reader 9, Norton Internet Flipping Security, eBay, Norton Online, what? Online Backup, actually that, that might not be such a bad product. The Gateway Games Console and User's Guide for the Gateway Computer. So I got a lot of, well I'll say you got a lot of junk to uninstall. This thing actually didn't come with a whole lot of bloatware for the time. I mean, Nero is the full version. This is not a trial. This is actually the real deal. Not the entire suite, but it is the real deal. You get Express and Start Smart. So I guess it's probably Burning ROM. That's what the variant it comes with. Uh, also, why does it come with Norton Online Backup if it has Gateway My Backup? That's pretty brilliant. Um, the Welcome Center. Remember with Windows Vista, how it used to pop that up by default when the computer started up? Oh, and Gateway Photo Frame, a pretty stupid thing. You put an SD card in the media reader, and then you accidentally hit the photo frame button with your foot while you're being lazy. And it just, like, turns your screen into a virtual picture frame, going through all the pictures on the SD card. It's pretty stupid, really, but I don't know. It can be kind of interesting. It's installing Windows Live Essentials now, probably the original version of said suite. I'll have to update that. Um, but since it comes with it, I'd rather not uninstall it and just update it, even though I hardly ever use it anymore. But you never know. You never know what I might do with this computer one of these days, because it's actually, this is going to be the first computer I've had in my bedroom that is of a reasonable strength, aside from the fact, aside from, aside from the fact, I'm tired, can you tell? Aside from my laptop that's underneath this dress shirt that shrunk in the wash. And my HP laptop right there. Why will my camera just not fo- oh. Because the autofocus button got disabled. That would explain it. Okay. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of rambling on, but... 
This computer is special to me in a lot of ways. I did record a video, emphasis on record a video, about all the things that were special to me about this computer, but it was really rambly and I didn't edit it, and I may never edit it. I hope I do eventually, but you never know with me, so... I just don't know, man. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.